The first commercial flight took place just over 100 years ago. In the time since, civil aviation has evolved into a complex system that connects people and business the world over and contributes billions to worldwide GDP. The pace of change within the industry has accelerated over the last quarter century, and Airports Council International has evolved in step. ACI was formed in 1991 through the merger of the Airport Operators Council International and the International Civil Airports Association with the aim of communicating the needs of the world's airports to regulators and other stakeholders through one consolidated voice. I had the privilege of serving as the first Director General of Airports Council International from 1991 to 1997. In those early days, we faced the challenges of communicating the organization's goals to existing members and the industry at large, while at the same time attracting new members. Of course, increasing our influence at ICAO was another key goal, and ACI quickly established itself on the global stage as a vital player in the development of a strong and effective aviation industry. ACI's formative years required significant sales effort, patience and goodwill from the membership, from the regional and world boards, and in particular between management and staff at both the world and regional levels. Just like IKO and IATA, there was a compelling urgency then to unify the world airports to one single body. It is a testimony of the founding airports possess this vision to do so. As well, we work to help airports achieve high levels of safety and security, environmental stewardship, customer service, and economic vitality for the communities they serve. It's a wonderful industry, and I think it'll go from strength to strength. With more cross-pollination, more people will leave the airports industry and go to other industries, and other industries will come in. So greater use of innovation, greater use of technology, um, a bigger and, and, and sharper focus on, on our, our customers, be they airlines or passengers. The future is bright. ACI provides training, publishes best practice guidance material, compiles and analyzes traffic and economic data, presents opportunities for airport professionals to share knowledge, represents the airport sector within and outside of the industry on the emerging issues of the day, and much, much more. And while all of these activities are undertaken on behalf of our members, ACI also serves the end user. As connectors of people, places, and businesses, airports were fortunate to play an important role in the lives of over 6 billion travelers last year. At any given day at airports all over the world, people meet, bid farewell, create, and become inspired. Airports are far more than concrete and metal. We are part of an industry that, at its core, is about keeping the world connected. Twenty-five years ago, if you were taking a flight from Singapore to Hong Kong, then you would have flown out from uh, Singapore Airport's uh, newly opened Terminal 2 and experienced the 90 degrees turn um, on the final approach to Kai Tak Airport. Um, today, Singapore Changi is already planning for its Terminal 5, and of course Hong Kong Airport moved to Chet Lap Kok and is planning to build the third runway. So, so much has changed since uh, 1991, the year in which ACI was officially established. So if you were to ask me 25 years from now where it will be, I think it will be a completely different industry. Uh, but I think in 25 years from now, technology will play a big part in air travel, the way we deal with the passengers, the way we deal with, with the airlines. I think we can see greater competition among airlines coming up because uh, there will be more demand. And more importantly, I think the passengers will demand an individualized uh, form of service. Uh, they will be very demanding. They expect high levels of service, and airports will have to ensure that this continues to be the case. Our region, Asia Pacific, which includes the Middle East, um, covers a wide geographical area um, with very diverse cultures, potentials, and of course, economies. And some of the fastest growing economies, as well as the least developed ones, can be found here in Asia Pacific. Um, now, despite these differences, airports worldwide uh, face very similar challenges, uh, such as security threat, um, 
health pandemic, um, environmental impact, uh, financial challenges. So ACI is working hand in hand with our members to tackle these uh, challenges. And I think the industry's really evolved to, you know, ACI now is, is really giving the airports a voice, one voice, and we're, we're making a, a really big impression on the industry as a whole. Um, last year, our region celebrated our 10th anniversary of the um, unification of Asia and Pacific regions. And under the support of our uh, leadership, Mouse um, Mar Wilton, uh, Dennis Chant, Tansri Bashir, our region has uh, grown um, tremendously in terms of recognition in membership as well as uh, the variety of services we offer. So together with our members, uh, we've reached many milestones. As the only association um, in the region to represent the airport's interests, I'm confident that ACI will continue to be the voice of the world's airports and together um, ensuring a global transport system that's safe, secure, efficient and environmentally sustainable. Let's come together and turn this Silver Jubilee celebration into the beginning of a golden era for our industry. The Africa region is no stranger to challenges. In the 1990s, when ACI was formed, the region faced the twin challenges of lack of resources and the storage of skills. Most recently, the industry has dealt with the Arab Spring, the Ebola virus, and the specter of terrorism attacks. Despite these obstacles, air transport in Africa is on upward trajectory, both in terms of passenger number and the important contribution we make to the continent economy. Statistics from the Air Transport Action Group, of which ACI is funding member, point to air transport in Africa directly generating an estimated 428,000 jobs, another 45,000 people, or 11% of the total work for air, airport operators. 222,000 of these jobs, or 52%, were on site in airport at retail outlets, restaurants, hotels, and so on. Uh, airport supposed to be uh, a destination at itself. Airports must be fully integrated in the community. I think that airports must be uh, secure, safe, and more sustainable uh, in the future. More than anything, ACI Africa roles is to facilitate the significant contribution that airports play in communities, large and small, throughout the region. We do this through acting as a unified voice of African airports at regional and worldwide events, organizing our own conferences and exhibitions to ensure that members have forums wherein the issues that are important to them can be discussed. Promoting education and knowledge sharing in cooperation with ACI World Global Training and Developing Nation Airports Assistance Program and fostering operational safety through the Airport Excellence or APEX in Safety Program, which has performed more safety peer reviews in Africa since its inception than in any other region. If I were to sum up the future of air transport in Africa in a world, it will be potential. For the last 25 years, AC Africa has been a driving force behind the growth in the region, and we look forward to being an engine for the future positive change over the next quarter century. Together with our colleagues around the world and in Montreal, we are very proud to be celebrating the 25th anniversary of ACI. Airports in Europe have come a long way since 1991. The liberalization of aviation, the privatization and corporatization of airports means that the rules of the game are completely different today. Airports have gone from being mere infrastructure providers to being dynamic businesses in their own right. And supporting our members in that process has been a key priority for ACI Europe. And with it, of course, has come the need to get the right policy framework and the right regulations. 
Today, airports are really putting the passenger first. They are no longer B2B businesses, they are also B2C businesses, and that's crucial. They are delivering increased connectivity for their communities, and they are increasingly competing also with each other. Aujourd'hui, les aéroports sont en compétition les uns avec les autres, tout particulièrement les hubs. On voit bien que entre les hubs d'Europe, les hubs du Moyen-Orient, le hub d'Istanbul en Turquie, il y a une compétition et donc les aéroports sont soumis à une forte concurrence. At the same time, they are focused on operational efficiency and on sustainability because of course getting our license to grow is a major challenge. Last year, more than 1.8 billion passengers were welcomed by Europe's airport. That's an absolute record. We look forward to many more passengers in the next 25 years. And of course, there will be plenty of challenges because we know that change is the new constant. At ACI Europe, we stand ready to keep positioning Europe's airports for the future, assisting our members and making sure they get the best value out of their membership. Thank you. I'm very honored to address to you on behalf of the Latin American and Caribbean airport community on the occasion of the 25th anniversary of ACI. It is truly remarkable the tremendous role that ACI has played in the aviation industry throughout these 25 years. Along with the different initiatives, programs, events, and training, we have supported our airport operators to increase safety, efficiency, and sustainability of the operations across the 260 airports in the region. Desde esta tierra del Mayab legendario, desde Yucatán, desde América Latina y el Caribe, queremos agradecer a esta gran comunidad que forma parte del Consejo Internacional de Aeropuertos. Todo su apoyo y todo su soporte durante estos años, 25 años de éxitos, 25 años en donde se ha visto crecer a la aviación. Felicidades. Ah, sí, muchos años más de vida. Son muchos los retos y oportunidades que aún tenemos por delante. El crecimiento del tráfico de pasajeros y la demanda por más infraestructuras encabeza la lista de prioridades. A ello debemos sumar el desarrollo de iniciativas que promuevan operaciones más sostenibles con el ambiente y mejoras a la experiencia del pasajero. La colaboración con nuestras asociaciones, colegas, autoridades y estados es la clave para que como industria sigamos construyendo un sistema de transporte aéreo que promueva el crecimiento económico de nuestras comunidades. From the Latin America and Caribbean region, I want to congratulate Angela and the ACI World Team for 25 years representing the airports in the aviation industry. You have done an amazing job representing us in one of the most important industries for the development of the world and the airports are a key part of it. I hope you can keep up the good work for the next 25 years. Felicidades a toda la comunidad aeroportuaria y a nuestra organización en este 25 aniversario. Congratulations to ACI on its 25th anniversary. Congratulations to Angela and the great team at ACI World for 25 years of service to the global airport industry. In my travels, I'm often asked, what makes ACI unique to the aviation community? The answer is really easy. Part of what ACI means to me is the ability to connect and network with the airport leaders and directors, as well as all the different vendors, and provides a great forum for exchanging ideas that are super important to the industry. We work with our members every day to develop solutions that turn short-term challenges into long-term opportunities. But North American airports are not alone in their efforts to solve the significant challenges facing modern airport industry. It's my view that the real benefit to be able to reach out to your international colleagues for assistance, whether overcoming air service, operational, security, environmental, customer service, or financial challenges, or any other issue facing an airport, we're able to offer a direct connection to airport peers from around the world. After 25 years of dedicated service to the world's airports, ACI World continues to be an influential voice in representing the global airport system before ICAO. 
As economic and security challenges emerge, this role will only grow more important in the years ahead as we work to ensure the safe and efficient movement of passengers and goods throughout the world. And ACI being the voice of airports, whether it's uh, with uh, security uh, in terms of uh, TSA operations, or on the international arrivals with Customs and Border Protection, uh, trying to make sure that we have adequate numbers of uh, Customs and Border Protection officers. Uh, these are all issues that, yes, airport, an airport can work on by itself, but with having uh, the voice of over 400 airports behind you, you're so much more effective. ACI World has a strong reputation for working with the global airport industry to establish ambitious standards like those established in the ASQ program. The world grows more complex each day. The immense challenges beyond the horizon require us to maintain a global vision. The collaborative work among ACI World and the five ACI regions can ensure a competitive and progressive airport industry that serves airports, local communities, and their passengers in the years ahead. So Angela, I salute your strong leadership and raise my glass to 25 years of success of ACI World and continued success in the years ahead. On behalf of IKO and its governing council, I would like to offer my very warm congratulations to Airports Council International on the occasion of its 25th anniversary. 2016 is also coincidentally the fifth anniversary of ACI's move from Geneva to Montreal. IKO has been very grateful to have ACI as a close neighbor during that period in every sense of the word. Besides our many areas of mutual cooperation, I would also like to extend my personal thanks to ACI Director General Angela Gittins. Angela's commitment and contributions to the IKO Council annual outside strategy meetings has been greatly valued and her insights and perspective appreciated by all. Congratulations again on reaching this significant and well-deserved milestone. And thank you for this opportunity to demonstrate IKO's deep appreciation for ACI's kind collaboration and valued achievements. Congratulations to ACI on its 25th anniversary. One of the three pillars of CANSO's strategic plan for the air traffic management industry, Vision 2020, is partnership. Our close partnership with ACI stretches back many years and we work together on numerous projects to enhance safety, uh, ensure efficiency and collectively meet the expectations of airspace users. Our partnership with ACI is strong at all levels. Globally, in my collaboration with ACI's uh, Director General Angela Gittins on key global challenges facing the industry. Across our respective work groups in the two organisations dealing with specific issues. Regionally, through our regional offices working very closely together. Nationally and at individual airports where our people work together on critical issues such as runway safety. So once again, congratulations to ACI on your 25th anniversary. CANSO looks forward to continuing our constructive partnership with you for many years to come. It's my great pleasure to extend my very best wishes to Airports Council International on the occasion of your 25th anniversary. ACI and IATA go back a very long way, of course, back to your very earliest days, because airports and airlines are the very closest of partners. In fact, neither could exist without the other. I'm very proud of the important work that we do together and our work together affects communities, it affects economies, families and of course individuals. And I look forward to IATA and ACI continuing to work together for the benefit of this great industry of ours in the future. Happy 25th ACI! In our next quarter century we look forward to continuing our efforts to safeguard the interests of the traveling public. We will expand our already significant collaboration with stakeholders. We will find new ways for members to harness the power of technology to transform their businesses. We will train the next generation of airport professionals. We will continue to promote excellence in customer service. We will enhance our suite of tools and publications to help our members be environmentally and economically sustainable. In short, ACI will take a leading role every step of the way, speaking with one voice, the voice of the world's airports.